What's up, y'all? Sorry I'm doing this video in the morning. Um, but, <clears throat> so I will for sure do two then. So I'm doing this one now, and then probably won't be in the evening, actually. Well, actually, it'll probably be in the day, because it's a movie I already technically already watched. Um, Stay Alive. So I'm probably just gonna review it, like, maybe... It's, uh, it's like 7 right now, so maybe... Maybe... Maybe one or two, like probably twelve or one, like around there. So yeah, so it'll be two day reviews. Figure why not? Since one of them I already watched anyway. We watched on Monday, so so yeah. But today I am reviewing, in my opinion, the greatest werewolf movie, American Werewolf in London. I remember watching this the first time. Um, like I was about six because I think I watched it um, because like. It was like a Wolfman marathon, right? Because it was like the original Wolfman and then they played this movie. And man, I was amazed. Just at the effects. I mean, the the, the that transformation scene, which is probably going to be the title for the video. Best transformation scene ever. That is to me my favorite werewolf transformation. When David transforms for the first time, it's fucking amazing. Like how good. It's to this day, like even, like even though this film was like from like 1981. This, the transformation scene still looks great. Um, so basically, two backpackers, David and his friend, uh, um, I think Jack, I think is, I could be getting the name wrong. But he was to say him and his friend. Go backpacking in the wood in um, England. They go to a bar called Slaughterhouse Pub. And they have a weird encounter. Their things seem normal until they say something and then they're, basically kicked out and and they're told to watch out for the roads and stay away from like the moor specifically because they're basically warning them about the world but they don't know so david and his friend get attacked his friend basically gets killed and david survives and slowly um things seem normal initially but then he sees his friend again but as a ghost and i'm gonna be honest that's some of my favorite moments in the movie is when he's a ghost when he's talking to his ghost friend. Like, and it's tragic because I really think this movie also really captures the mental state of your what you're gonna be when you become a werewolf. Because yeah, your mental state has to go fucking crazy because you're turning into a werewolf. So his friend's basically warning him, kill yourself so you don't kill anybody because he basically is told, No, David, you're a werewolf now. And then Throughout the film, David starts falling in love with this nurse named Alex, who I actually recognize. I'm like, I've seen her somewhere. And then I remember she was in a, she was the ado adopted mom of Andy in Child's Play too, the bitchy one that told Andy to, to get away in the end. So I'm like, because I'm like, when I first saw, I'm like, I fucking recognize her. I think I've seen her in something else, but the, just off the top of my head, it was Child's Play too that came to mind. But I did, <clears throat> even though there's not a lot, like, <clears throat> the pace is pretty much there, because <clears throat> Alex takes him to his flat, um, they kind of start kissing, getting, you know, they <clears throat> have sex, and that night, <clears throat> David's friend, and I love throughout the film how he appears, so he looks more and more decayed, like, when he shows up, like, by the time they're in the theater, his friend looks like a straight-up, almost basically skeleton, almost. Basically, you warn him that the next day, the full moon comes, you're gonna turn. So you have to kill yourself. So, next day happens, he transforms, and my god. I'm, I'm gonna try to go quick, because obviously I'm gonna do the review review, but that, that iconic transformation scene is still amazing, and it it looks good still. Like, even to this day, it's like, it's my favorite, it's my, it's my favorite werewolf transformation in film. I think just because how good it looks, and the process, and the effects, just the effects work alone is why that film works. Raise it up a little bit, the camera. Um, but yeah, like, it, it's, that scene is why it works, because the effects work. Like, they really put detail into the effects of when he transformed and yeah we get he attacks a few people then the next day he tries to get himself arrested and he more they really showcase like how like turning would 
make you go crazy because it would in a way it would fuck with your mental state you know and it's like who can he talk to he can't just tell alice yo alice i'm a werewolf like he tried telling her but you know obviously she's not gonna believe him you know she's just gonna think he's a little weird so he goes to like a porn porn theater and I, this scene when he was talking to his friend and the other victims he killed i really love this scene i just love the the banter back and forth and then yeah he transforms in the theater kills the inspector and then kills a couple of people and then i will say the movie does have just a very abrupt ending because he gets confronted alex tries to talk to him but then yeah he gets shot and then he dies and then credits so it is a very abrupt ending but other than that i, I really love this film I, I think this is one of my favorites if i want to watch a werewolf film this is this and the howling are probably the two this, maybe before The Howling, I put Dog Soldiers. This, Dog Soldiers, and The Howling are, like, my three main werewolf films. Dog Soldiers is so fucking good. Especially as someone who just, like, if you just want a movie about killer werewolves like versus soldiers, that movie's it. But this one really is, like, the way they show Jack's mental state. Like, I really love that because it really does, it makes sense. Your mental state would kind of be very fucked up if you turn into a werewolf, you know? Like, so, and I think they really showcase that. So, out of 10, this movie is a 10. I think in terms of, you were just grading it as a werewolf film, it is definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, I thought David was a good actor. Um, Alex is an okay character. Um, inspect, the inspector character is whatever. He's just kind of there to, you know, be an inspector, but... I like the London setting. I thought that was a nice change of pace. But yeah, so um, later tonight, I will, well, not tonight, it's going to be today. Later today, I will be reviewing Stay Alive. Um, I really like that one. I, I had little issues with it, but for what it was, I liked the premise, you know, video game, play a video game, you die in the video game, you die in real life kind of thing. So I'll be talk, talking about that one a little bit later. Um, but other than that, let's get into American Werewolf in London. slaughterhouse pub <coughs> i actually like this scene because it says the tone like they everything seems fine until they mention like they they see something and they point it out then the the locals start acting weird tell them to get out <coughs> tell them to watch out for the moors and certain and stay on the roads and <coughs> Because you're like wondering, like, okay, why are they acting all weird? Like, you could tell they're they know something's out there, but it's like <laughs> you don't know what. And then when they're out, and I even love like the um the bartender was even like kind of worried about them, like. But when they're out there, Dave, uh, David and his friend, I think his brother actually, not his friend, get killed. Oh no. His friend gets killed. Um, they get attacked by... The, I love how you don't really see it either. You kind of see the face, but you don't fully see what it looks like. Because they're trying to save that for when we get to the transformation scene. But yeah, the werewolf attacks, kills his friend. Before he's about to kill David, um, the, the the people at the bar who end up fall decided to, you know, have a good heart, um, help out David and kill the creature. And then... Before David passes out, he sees that it's a man. Like, it transformed back into a man. And this is where um, he learns that his friend's dead. I keep saying friend, brother. I think it is his brother. I, 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 don't, I might just fluctuate between the two, but yeah. He, um, 
And this is where he sees his... And I love just the fucking special effects worked on his friend, dead friend, like all like the body parts. You see his face is all scratched. He's all fucked up. Like, they really did a good job with that, like, with the effects in this movie. Like, um... And yeah, there's not even just the werewolf effects, even, like, just the blood effects. And after that, this is where we see he meets Nurse Alex. Um... Yeah, then, yeah, so she asks if he has anywhere to, to stay because um, they end up kissing. I do, if I had another negative, I think his relationship with Alex is a little rushed. Like, it just, felt, it didn't feel like our, like, kind of natural, like, that they got together. It just felt like, oh, he needs a girlfriend character. And I'm fine with her as her. It just didn't feel natural to me. It felt kind of rushed. He kissed her, and then they, they're fucking... Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, we got boob. I'm not going to complain about boob or anything like that. It's just, I don't know. I think you could have at least a little bit, but I get it. That wasn't the focus of the movie. And I kind of get it. You you want him to have a character interact with his friends dead, so he doesn't really have anyone, you know? So I, I, I get it. While this is happening, Inspector um, asks um, David some questions. David doesn't know. He says it was a creature that attacked him. Um... Like a wolf-looking creature. So, so yeah, that night, he and her and Alex have sex. Like I said, my only real criticism of the movie, I didn't feel like them becoming a couple really natural. They could have did it a bit better. But aside from that, then that night, he, he goes outside. Not outside, but like in the living room. And this is where he sees his friend again. And his friends now even more fucked and basically warning him, like, no, you gotta kill yourself. Because in a day, you're gonna turn into a monster. Or into a werewolf. And then he tries to tell her that, but she doesn't, you know, obviously just doesn't believe him kind of thing. She thinks he's more like, oh, your friend's death just made you feel guilt. You know, you feel guilt. That's what it is. So I'm like, I'm like that. So the next day happens, things seem fine. And then just, while at the house... He transforms, and this scene is just so good. Like, it holds up. Like, the way... And also, it makes it look painful. Because, yeah, you don't think about it like that. When you become, you're turned into a, a giant wolf, of course, that's going to be painful. Your bones are going to be growing. Like, your hand's going to grow, so that's going to feel fucking painful. And like I said, it's also the mental state. I really love that they captured that. Because, yeah, I would feel, I feel like your mental state would be kind of fucked up if you turn into a werewolf. You know? Like, just one moment, you're, you're not, you're not just human, you're, you're gonna turn into this thing, and it's like, there has to be, like, an, almost a thing that you know it's gonna happen, so, of course, it's gonna drive you crazy. And I really love that this movie showcases that. It's, like, one of the few werewolf movies that I feel like I've, that I've seen really show that. I don't think any other werewolf movie that I've seen, at least to that, I mean, I guess, kind of ginger snaps did that but ginger snaps is not a real full-on traditional werewolf movie like this one is this one i would say is straight up more traditional for the most part really pretty much traditional werewolf film whereas ginger snaps that one was a little bit more out there but aside from that one yeah no real werewolf movie really looked at that so it was kind of cool to see that this one did it but yeah so he transforms and i, I love this sequence man that's gonna be the thumbnail, is the, that iconic shot where his jaw's getting bigger. And then, yeah, so he's fully transformed, kills a couple of passengers. Well, like, not passengers, but kills a couple of people on the street. And the gore is there, man. It's pretty gory when you get to it. So, after killing a couple of people. Ooh. <laughs> Wakes up in the zoo, <laughs> which I thought that this scene was playing <coughs> because <coughs> I guess animal control or someone saw him and thought he was just a <coughs> a wolf, so they just put him in. It does make me wonder how the fuck did they put him in there in wolf form, but whatever. <coughs> Gets out and is now that he's realized he's killed a couple people. Now he. he <coughs> I know this seems a little bit later, but when he's at the theater, 
and he sees it because it wasn't just his like his friend that he he saw. Now he's seeing the victims of the people he's killed, like um, the victims he's killed. So it's like, and it's a tragic tragedy because like when you're a werewolf, you don't know what you did. And then yeah, so the detective's looking more into the murders, kind of starting to suspect David did him now. Um, but, um, David is out with, uh, Alex one day, but he tries to get himself arrested, so basically, but he, it's unsuccessful, so he kind of just runs off, because he runs off from Alex, and, yeah, this is where he goes to the theater, and I, he has this scene with several, oh, he, I think he kills a couple more people. Oh, no, he killed, no, it was the people from the previous night. He killed six. That's why it was just a lot of people he killed. So you see a lot of the victims. Actually, no, there's this one scene I thought was really fucked up where David, because there's throughout the film, David's like dreaming, you know? And there's one where he dreams like these werewolves that are dressed like basically like Nazis show up and just kill a whole family. And man, they they show it like it's like holy shit. That that was a trippy part, but so yeah. So there's a lot of fucked up visuals in this movie, but it's a good one. Um, so they tell him different ways to kill him. So which I'm not gonna lie, I found kind of funny. Like it was, it was like the banter. I think is what I liked. So I I did like this scene in the theater. And then Jack, his friends just straight up just he almost just looks like a skull now. <laughs> like he just straight up looks like a skull now. So, um, at this point, he, um, starts freaking out, and a guy walks up to him, you know, obviously trying to see if he's okay, um, and then, yeah, he turns, um, starts killing people, including in the inspector, um, runs into an alley. I'll say, I do wish the movie had a little bit of a longer final act, that's my only thing, because it does just kind of, like, pretty much once he turns, kills a couple people, runs into the alley then Al, um, Al, Alex notices goes in the alley tries to calm him down and then yeah we fully get a look at him in wolf form and he looks pretty good like I really love the wolf design in this movie so um but the cops end up because they you know they think he's like about to attack her they don't know so they they think he's about to attack her so they end up shooting and then at this point he transforms back into a human and then boom, movie ends it's like I do think the ending could have been a little bit better. I do think it just, it, it kind of just abruptly ends. I would have liked a little bit, maybe a little bit of an aftermath kind of thing. But other than that, I love this movie. I, I think this is probably my favorite werewolf film. I think the gore is there. I love the design of the werewolf. They really get into the mental state, which I'm actually I think, kind of like, because not a lot of werewolf films do that. Even to this day, don't really do that, besides a couple. Um, has, in my opinion, the best werewolf transformation in film, like, the effects for that scene alone when he transforms, even for his friend, just, I know it's side point, but even just for his friend when he, when he sees him, like, they really put, they, they did a lot of good, good job of practical effects, man, for, especially for 1981, like, this film almost feels like it, you think it'd come out, like, more mid and late 80s, no, it's 81, yeah. So, this I just love it. And I love the change of pace. Like, you know, you could have just did a werewolf movie in, like, the Midwest, like a lot of them are. But, no, they're like, let's do it in London. That's a, that's a, makes for an interesting setting, and I thought it was. Like, even the scene where the werewolf's just, like, on the subway. Like, you know, it's just kind of interesting. Like, I like the change of pace. Um, good characters. Um, the score was there. I thought it had good atmosphere, especially when they're just walking... David and his friend are just walking in the wood and he like the fog. Yeah, they got the atmosphere right. So overall, great werewolf film. I definitely re recommend it. Do not watch two or, you know, American Werewolf in Paris. Unless you just want to watch a fucking meme, maybe watch it. But that movie really probably don't need to watch. That one's a meme. It's I remember watching it the first time. I think, oh, it's going to be a good sequel or it's going to be kind of like the same thing. But just no. Oh man, that was that was fucking bad. So yeah, do not watch American World from Paris. You're better off not. Just American World in London's a one-off. Just kind of look at it as that. But uh, later in 
probably in the afternoon. Who knows? Maybe if I'm in the mood, maybe in like two, three hours, we'll see. I will review Stay Alive since I already watched it on Monday. So I don't actually have to watch it this today. So I'll be doing that a little bit later. Um, tomorrow, I will be doing... I know I normally do the Conjuring movies. I'm going to do Conjuring 2 for sure on Friday. I think I'm just going to do that on Friday. So I can at least just get kind of get two out of the way finally. But tomorrow, I am going to review Bram Stoker's Dracula. Which, that's going to be fun. I have, I have not watched that movie in a long-ass time. And Gary Oldman, I remember really loving his Dracula. And I just love the aesthetic of the movie. I've read the book once um, in high school, and it was pretty good. So, can't wait to watch the movie. So, I'll be doing that tomorrow. I know I probably would should be doing Conjuring 2 tomorrow, because I usually do Conjuring on Thursdays. But, we'll get back to Conjuring in the right schedule. I think next Thursday, I'll be doing three. <laughs> we'll be doing, like, three in the right order, finally. So, anyway, guys, um, I'll see y'all in a couple of hours. But, <coughs> video will definitely be in the game. I just don't know what time it is yet. <coughs> like I said, if I'm in the mood, I don't know anything going on. I'll probably do it maybe in like two, three hours from now. <coughs> <coughs>